Hi, Jolter. Look, and welcome to Unisport Uncut episode 25. 25. Cox Kids Vs. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are celebrating the 25th episode of Unisport Uncut. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. Anyways, just to celebrate things properly, um, we kicked out J Mike for the first time <laughs> <laughs> in Unisport Uncut's history. But nevertheless, we have 10 minutes as always. Luca, you wanna you wanna do the honors? M may I? You can do it. 10 minutes. Is it going? It's going. It's rolling. Luca, we have a lot of boots on the table, but let's just start with the brand new pack from Adidas. Yes. Speed of light. Speed of light. Damn. You like it? Damn. Yes, I, I do like it, especially that one. Like, uh, pure chaos, all red. What am I supposed to say? I mean, it's actually quite similar. Like, the, the color is inspired by the color of the Mercury pack. You said it, man. <laughs> you said it, man. No, I, I, I think it's very dope, and this is actually my favorite as well. Um, you tried them out in Amsterdam. Yes. With my man Casper. Yes. How was it? <laughs> man, he was insanely good. If you want to see the video, click the card in whatever corner or the annotation. We're going to link it. Man, seriously, he's going to be big, I think. He's, yeah? He's, he has some, some potential to be... Have you tried bigger. the other boots? Yes, I have. Um, my favorite, if you... I know you haven't asked, but you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, uh, go ahead. Uh, I think it's decided between these two. The knit is insane on that one, but this one is just, in my opinion, a bit more comfortable. So I'm going to wear that one on my left and that one on my right. <laughs> That's the first. I would actually go with this uh, when it comes to performance. I love the fit. Like you said, it's, it's very comfortable, super dope, and it looks sexy with the sole plate. Dope. Dope. It's super dope. <laughs> super dope. <laughs> but Luca, did you actually know that none of these boots were on the pitch in the Euros? That is actually true. And actually, let's talk about the Euros. Luca, <laughs> you were in France, I was in France. What was the best moment for you? I, I, I can tell you the worst moment, that's pretty <laughs> easy, but the best moment was Germany winning the penalties against Italy. Man. You know, I remember watching that game on I, TV and I knew you were in the stadium and I was like, damn. I, was, I think there's like a clip where I'm like, like close to crying. <laughs> like, <everyone. laughs> that's amazing. Do you think Portugal deserved to win? No, no, because, no. Because, you know, there's, I'm not going to lie, a lot of people have been hating on Portugal, you yeah, know, yeah, because yeah. they finished third in the group and yeah, all yeah, this yeah. kind of crap. I, I'm, I'm hating on Portugal. <laughs> You are? No, I just wanted to win, Ger like Germany to win. Uh, everything else was undeserved, so. I understand. <coughs> what yeah, about Finland? Know, uh, Finland, uh, next time. <laughs> in Russia, maybe. Um, but you know, like for me, I, I know I keep saying this, in every, every time it's, we talk about uh, Euros, but for me the tournament was a little bit lame, but the fans in France were amazing. That's what it's all about. Right? That but was sick. Let's move on. Next right. shoes. Let's go to the all right to my test. You tried it out in... Herzog and our no, in, no in, Dortmund. In, in Dortmund. In Dortmund, yeah, yeah, with Puma. Um, sick boot, you know? I haven't tried like, it. I, I was really, um, you know, actually, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting anything from this boot for whatever reason. But damn, it's nice. It is? It's sick. Like, you know, the upper, I know I said this 20 times in the short video, the super soft but buttery, kangaroo leather upper, buttery soft, buttery soft as <laughs> J-Wack would say. Like, it, it's just, it just you know, look, do the other honors. Touch it, <coughs> try it out. Like, it's extremely soft. <laughs> and for me, for me, you know, the Ebonit sock is the best sock there is right now from, you know, what I've tried. But I do have to say that for a guy like you or J-Mike, you know, the toe box is extremely wide. Okay, so maybe, you know, it's not going to fit the guys with slimmer feet. I'm, I'm just going to put this out there, you know? And the right. upper stretches so much that if you don't go down a size, half a size, maybe even two sizes if you really bother, <laughs> you're going to have a problem. <laughs> Were you going to try this out? Yes! What, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> yes! It, it's too early in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Anyways, a sick boot. Um, like I said in the, in the short video, after playing with these for the first time, potential candidates for one of the best boots of this year. Moving on, new boot from Umbro. Potential on that one. Potentially? Potential. Potential on the potential. Um, yeah, you? this is the new Umbro Acro. Um, like you said earlier this morning, it looks like 
a boot that has a little bit of it's like everything. Frankenstein, <laughs> of, but like in a positive way. Like in a positive way. It looks like a mixture of a lot of boots that we've seen before, but it's all just like crazily padded. It's like exactly. And you know, out of the people here at Unisport, J Mike is the one who's actually tried this boot, and he said, and I quote, <laughs> he said that this is one of the most comfortable shoes he's ever, ever. put on his feet. What? And you know, what he told me was like that, as you can see, it kind of has the same vibes and, and feelings of the good old Predator LZ. I'm sure you remember that boot, but it's still much more padded. Like you can feel on the, on the inside, <coughs> yes. um, it's, it's very soft. It feels like clouds. It feels like clouds? <laughs> and, and, this is what I love about boots, right? Short studs, great Round. for AG, I would say. But J Mike said, J Mike said, and I quote again, this could be one of the surprise boots of 2016. Mm. What do you think? I, I think this would fit <coughs> you, you know, extremely well. I, I, I believe so, but I, the, the only thing that I'm a bit concerned about, I haven't tried it, obviously, but like stability in the, in the midfoot, because everything is like so soft and padded mm. that I don't know where stability should come from, but I can only tell you after I tried it and I haven't yet. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> this is too slim for me. Um, but let's see, I'm definitely gonna give it a shot at some point, okay? Cool. Let's move on to the, you know, the talk of the town, Magista. Um, yeah, you try them Which out. One? Which one do you start, start with? Start with the Obra. Um, <coughs> you made the play test. Yes. You can find that also in the links somewhere on the screen. <laughs> I guess that's the thing people do on YouTube nowadays. Luca, ah. break it down to me. What do you think? I haven't, I haven't played with them yet. I've tried them on, but I haven't played with them. What do you think so. about the looks? Um, <laughs> you know what? I actually, I, I, I could rock this. Like, if you, you, could, have a, you could, you could, you could. I could rock this, you know? <laughs> and like, I'm, I can just like see myself on the pitch, like all black outfits, you know? And, and these boots. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying I, I couldn't. You couldn't? I don't think I could. Like, it's just too spacey and whatever. I have to say in the beginning, I was like more skeptical about it and on feet it looks so much better yeah. than it does like in hand or whatever. But I, I just think it looks like back to the future. Mm. And obviously there's a lot of new tech in the new Magista, yes. um, but we are not the tech gurus. No. So, if you want to hear more about the let's tech... Just, let's just link the, the, <laughs> let's link the tech talk. Let's link the tech talk. <laughs> you know what? We're going to link everything. And the only thing you need to do is click the info cards thing. You're going to find everything. Yes. But Luca, how does it feel on the pitch? Actually, it's a lot more difficult to get in the shoe. But when you are in, it's like you don't, you don't feel it at all. It's that's, like what, you that's what she said. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. It was, it was the perfect moment. It was the perfect moment. It was the perfect moment. Just move, move. Next to your shoulder. Yeah. Um, okay, this one, you know what? The takedown model. Oh, takedown model. The Opus. It looks interesting. Go ahead. You still didn't get over it? What do you think? I think it looks like a disease. Seriously, like, like come on. No matter how you look at this, it, it can look good. Like you can make this look pleasing to the eye. You know, like especially with this colorway where the dimples are. <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn. what do you guys think? Like, let us know in the comment section below. How does it make you feel when you're looking at this booth? Let us know. I, I, I like. I can imagine it's a really, 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 really good shoe. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like it must be it awesome. Feels, it feels really good. It's like. Insanely soft. Exactly. Like I can't stop touching it, but <laughs> it's it just wow. doesn't have the appeal to exactly. be up there. Yeah. Boots done. Boots done. But actually, last thing I want to say, yes. like you said, like it looks sick, and it somehow reminds me of the good old CTRs yes, a yes, little bit, yes, 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 um, based on the looks. And I loved and feel the good old CTRs. And like you said, it's super soft, but the uh, Disease, mm -hmm. <laughs> man, not good. Cool. Look, Moving I'm not on. sure how much time we have left, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. let's talk. You know what? There's been a lot of new shirts. Um, there's some transfer rumors coming in. So let's just start with this one. With the, uh, the new Man United. Shirt. What? We're not supposed to tell that to the people yet. What? 
Um, anyways, what do you think of the new United shirt? United is your favorite team, right? I think it's disgusting. <laughs> what do you think about the new United shirt? Uh, it's just the United shirt. But the cool thing about... Oh, how can I say cool? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Chelsea fan, right? I'm a Chelsea fan. But next season, I'm going to have like a soft spot deep in my heart for Manchester United simply because of Mourinho and Zlatan. I love both equally much. Like maybe Zlatan is here and Mourinho is like here, you know? You think so? I don't like any of them. No? <laughs> yeah, but... Look at this episode yeah, yeah, is yeah, completely yeah. out of control. Yes. We are going to go extra time, okay? Because we still want to show you a couple more shirts. Your favorite team, Bayern Munich? It's not my favorite team, but it's, <laughs> it's a nice shirt. It's a dope shirt. It's a it's very really, dope shirt. It's really, really nice. Uh, I like like the kind of gradient thing going on. Yeah. With the stripes. Very nice shirt. What else should we say about it? Nothing. Nothing. It's like, I, I think it's very dope. I think it's like a 9 out of 10, in my opinion. The only thing that, I, that should be different is the color on the stripes. Should be red. That's Why? Because of Bayern? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just bring out the last shirt, okay? Just bring out the last shirt. <sighs> Guys and girls, we have a winner. <laughs> um, the Chelsea away shirt for next season, super dope. You know, I'm a t-shirt kind of guy. And this, this has like the vibes of a t-shirt. <laughs> and you can't go wrong with black and yellow, right? <laughs> let, let, let me break it down for you, okay? I'm not a Chelsea fan, so I'm a bit biased on that note, but if I would rate it as a shirt only, without looking at the crest, I think it's ugly. Really? Yes. Like, I, this is the kind of shirt that I could, I could rock at a nightclub, and I'm pretty sure I could take somebody home with this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think you couldn't. I, th I think we should make a challenge. <laughs> Maybe we make a challenge <laughs> next time. Anyways, Luca, before we let people go, um, let's just quickly talk transfers, because I'm super excited about the Premier League next season. Uh, we have Mourinho, we have Guardiola. Uh, your Manchester favorite city. Derby. Yeah. The Manchester Derby, like it's gonna be a sick season. Um, last year it was Leicester who took the victory. This who year it's gonna be Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> is, it gonna, is it gonna be Chelsea? <laughs> of course it's gonna be Chelsea. You wanna hear why? Because yes. we're playing with these shirts and we have Kante, aka Mr. New Makalele of 2016. I think it's a bit worrying that 10th place Chelsea can get Kante and 2nd place Arsenal can't. can't. Can't a Conte. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyways, guys and girls, this has been an emotional episode yes. of Unisport and Cuts. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this 25th anniversary thing. And you know what? Just leave your thoughts about all the boots, all the <coughs> shirts, all the transfer rumors yes. to the comment section below. Um, Which one is your favorite? Also, let us know that in the comments below. Exactly. And is this going to happen? Is it going to happen? Did it happen? Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Guys and girls, we are out. Thank you for tuning in.